Hello, my name is Catherine Dorset. I am a member of the Peter Noir group and I'll be reading my short story, She's Not Little, from the Flying Quapo Anthology. She's Not Little. Alex Jarrett had loved listening to his mother read the story of the little mermaid to him when he was a child. Now he was finding great pleasure reading it to his five-year-old son, Brian. You could tell that the little boy loved the story almost as much as his dad loved reading it to him. He especially loved the end of the story where the little mermaid rescues the prince. Hey, dad, he mumbled sleepily one evening after his dad had read the story. Can I play with the little mermaid? You can do anything you want, tiger, his father said on a laugh, tussling his ear as he tucked him in for the evening. Okay, dad, Brian said as he chilled off to sleep. At the door, Alex watched his son breathing gently and wondered at the fact that he could have so much love for such a tiny person. Alex was particularly protective of Brian and sensitive to his breathing because he had been born prematurely and his tiny lungs had not developed well enough to help him to breathe properly. Every now and then, Alex had had to rush to his room because the sound of his breathing had sounded muffled coming through the baby monitor he kept on his night table. As he turned to go now, he left the room door partly open to let in the light from the corridor and tiptoed away to his room where his empty bed was waiting. Brian's mother, his college sweetheart, had passed away just a month after his birth. The doctors were at a loss to explain the sudden hemorrhaging which had at first weakened and then sucked her life away within days of its onslaught. Now, all he had was Brian and he was going to do all he could to ensure that this little boy never felt alone or even remotely unloved. His colleagues had suggested that he may need to remarry in an effort to give Brian some stability. But as much as he loved his son, even after five years, Alex just could not see himself loving another woman but his wife Alice. While thoughts of Brian's future filled his heart and mind, Brian, on the other hand, was happily pursuing a future for himself with the little mermaid under the reign of her father, King Triton. He was on the beach on a beautiful summer day. As he looked at the wide expanse of the sea, he thought he saw the little mermaid peep from behind a small yacht in the distance. His little heart leapt with joy. He had been waiting for her to show up and play with him. He got up and made his way to the edge of the water, waving and calling her name. She swam some distance towards him and beckoned him to come into the water. Although he had never been in the water by himself before, Brian did not think twice about dashing in. The water was surprisingly cold for such a hot day, but he was happy that he was finally going to meet the little mermaid. He swam out as fast as his little hands and legs would carry him, and soon he was face to face with his friend. But he got an unpleasant surprise. Although she was very beautiful, she was all grown up. This mermaid was old, almost as old as his babysitter Elizabeth, whom he felt must be at least 15 years old. So he continued swimming in search of his little friend. As he swam, he saw other mermaids coming to the top of the water, laughing and playing with each other. But they were all as old as the first girl. They were not little. He searched and searched, but everyone who came up were old. He thought, maybe the baby ones were down below. So he decided to go look for his little friend there. He put his head under the water and quickly jerked right back up. He had breathed in some water. He had not known how to do it. So now he took a deep breath and put his head in the water. Everything was fine. He could see mermaids of all sizes swimming around, some coming up and others going down. If you would like to hear the rest of this story, you can find it in the Flying Quapo Anthology available on www.theflyingquapo.com and amazon.com.